Tonight's temperature is due to be minus six. Currently at uh, 17, oh no, 18.1 Celsius. Um, I was 17.8, but I brought it up slightly. Uh, the weather is cold next couple of days. Uh, so I may drop it down or leave it, either one. Um, managing the bills, but yeah, quite looking good I think nice chats with some of the guys uh, in Australia come in Australia who's ordered some Rasta merch and also um, James Rothwell in New York State and a few others in the US who has uh, been in contact um, the thing about a UK hobby it could be quite vast into people who just keep pond in a hole with a couple of fish um, uh, so they're not really into the high level stuff very few are into the high level stuff mainly uh, you find as you go further afield in that way so these are doing good and uh, yeah no but no fish buying for me coronavirus has sort of oh a little bit of food that I do get a couple of hours a day come, come out. mainly sinking pellets as you can see now they're top look to one color because that's a sinking wijo from Sakai. Kentaro's mix that I picked up from the barn, Koi Water Barn. Um, so I've got a fish to collect from the Koi Water Barn, which is a replacement fish for one that I bought from them that turned out male, but they're going to sort it out with a new fish. So I've got to get myself ready to do that. But but lockdown and everything else, no one could do anything anyway, so uh, hopefully the next video would be me filming at Koi Water Barn in a few months time if lockdown eases, when I go down to look at the fish that's coming and make a selection. Whether I make a selection then or later in the year, doesn't matter, Keith is kind enough to let me have the choice of the fish whenever uh, I'm ready for it, so. I'm not, happy, not ready to rush in and buy a fish straight off the plane. I'm happy to wait till later in the year, <clears throat> if needs be. So these are all doing good. And you can see they uh, love the sinking food. You wouldn't see, there's a couple remnants left over of the floating stuff just at the bottom there. So uh, that's what that big fish is taking, a couple of pieces of uh, deep red, sake curry, deep red, the rest of it is wheat jam in there. I tend not to feed any color food till uh, this sort of temperature anyways. And uh, yeah, there's four fish to leave this place, this pond, single color fish to go once spring has sprung and temperatures begin to warm up. A lot of the guys who bought these fish, uh, like I said, many UK guys who don't really keep high-end stuff they tend to keep the mid-range and or lower end and they're not heated and stuff like that so the market for that sort of thing, stuff in the UK is very small for the really high-end stuff only a handful of guys would do that um, so these are in that way they've been uh, about three weeks ago this pond before I dropped the temperature has got a hard hit of potassium permanganate affectionately known as PP um, which I tend to do anyways to kill off anything and that was hit really hard at three grams per ton I think the recommended doses is uh, 
1.5 per ton some do two per ton i hit i hit mine at three grams per ton not recommended that you do that because you can't lose your fish if you don't know what you're doing but that kills everything every parasite every sign of any parasite that's kill off as well and at that sort of rate uh, nothing survives um, i know some guys who've tried it and lost their fish so i wouldn't advise that you do that as well so this is just a short uh, video um, not sure what uh, we can film really because as you can see there's a bit of snow still on the ground there the ground is although it's a little bit squelchy but it's frozen solid other places there um, but yeah everything is set even the rabbit bowls are frozen at night but they're locked into heated warm spaces they've got their own heating system the rabbits uh so yeah a little bit like noah's ark so there you go Hey Chip, I just wanted to say this rustic wood jacket keeps me nice and warm in this wonderful New York weather, along with this wonderful sweatshirt, and of course your videos. Keep up the great work, Chip. Thank you. Well, it's freezing cold here in the UK. Um, you can see the pond over my shoulder. Koi are all good. It's freezing. The ground is frozen solid few days of snow this is unusual for the uk um, but good news is next week looks to be spring like weather not spring but spring like weather hopefully you can hear me i'm using my airpods and hopefully it's recording directly onto the phone we'll find out when i come to edit this so yeah quite uh, warm and cozy well i say warm the temperature is about 16.5 17 i need to check I think about 16.5 is when I check or 16.7 but yeah they're all fine in winter mode so they're not being fed hardly anything if anything at all there is some sinking wheat germ up there Saki uh, Mr. Kentro Sakai food but that's only being deployed twice a day at less than 50 grams so it's just enough to keep them interested in food so there's not much really to film and what's going on here got the rasta merch on as you can see uh thanks to all the guys who purchased rasta merch shout out to the boys in australia come and the crew over there uh you should have got your rasta merch shortly also the james rothwell in new york um a few other guys in the us and all those in the uk and europe who's been purchasing the rasta merch there's jackets hoodies zip up hoodies unfortunately we don't i can't get any sizes bigger than 3x so if you're bigger than 3x uh i do apologize we my supplier can't do anything that size or bigger so um but for the rest of you you're able to get that of course you could get a hat um other things i don't have one on i can't afford it i can't afford my own merch what does that tell you so um we hopefully in the new year uh, as the new year progresses and we come into spring there'll be more to film and talk to you about koi related wise yeah, but yeah that's not much happening most people with koi ponds are like mine shut down and we tend not to do much other than check the fish uh, make sure your kh ph is fine my kh is around 12 milligrams today i've checked it already and the pH is about 6.97, which is where it normally sits anyways. Um, nitrite is zero, ammonia is zero, nitrate is zero. Um, with run and recycle RO, not many, not many stuff could make it pass a recycle RO unit. I think only chlorine can. Well, the chlorine is zero anyways. You shouldn't have any chlorine in your pond or coming into it as well. But as you can see they're all fine there's a number of fish leaving the pond um, that have moved on mainly single color fish uh, and a couple other kahaku as well small kahaku dylan's fish is going so the pond's going to look sparse uh, i don't have anything coming in 
Uh, it's not been the year of buying fish for me, so I'm gonna run a probably really understocked pond, which is fine, less less food to go in and more room for the bigger fish. They're gonna have probably six to 800 gallons to themselves. Less is more with koi, the world of koi. Too many guys are overstocked, uh, hence all the trouble they get with flukes and parasites and things like that. I've had flukes uh, a couple of months ago, but managed to deal with them swiftly. No problem, my own protocol and it works. And yeah, I, for me, things seems to work for me, which maybe it's luck of the draw. It doesn't seem to work for everybody else, um, but I've got different ways of doing things. So yeah, I'll take you into the pod in a moment now and have a look, but yeah, it's freezing cold. This, uh... Okay, yeah, just came in to check up here. Um, so that's the pH and the temperature at the moment. Uh, that's the recycle hour we're running there. Just been doing some testing, so it's a bit messy. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Not COVID, just a sneeze. Anyhow, um, yeah, so that's the failing test. Um, I found my old drip test there, and I sort of, I mean, it's hard with colors, but uh, as far as nitrite, nitrate, sort of stuff like that, it can help that way. But um, yeah, nothing beats the palin test, of course. And of course, this thing works brilliantly. Um, I've had this now. Someone uh, bought it, returned it, because it wasn't working, apparently, but it, it works great on my phone. Um, again, maybe I'm just lucky. Um, anyhow, the TDS is about 73 in that way, and uh, as you can see, the page is there. Recycle arrow is running, it's freezing temperature. I've got to clean these out. They need a soak, and then a jet wash, which I can do once uh, the week unfolds. So, just at the moment, this is the inside of the pond. We'll walk over now to the main pond and have a look again. Yeah, tidal waves, sun is shining. I'm just cleaning the window. This is what I use, found it on Amazon a few years ago. Um, so it's okay, it gets most of the stuff out. So the window, I should have showed you before, but couldn't be bothered to film and then do the whole cleaner window step. I'm sure you all know what a dirty window looks like. So just cleaning this, there's not much to film. Uh, but the sun's out. So I've got to do a few chores around the pond and build a gate as well, because I've got a spot in the corner that I need to put a gate. So I'm going to try my hand doing that. Peace out. Okay, window's cleaned. Let me show you. Uh, there she is, all 90 centimeters of Takigawa. Well, I say 90, it was 88 last June, 87, 88. So, but there you go, that's the difference a clean window makes. Sun's out, so I've got all of the lights uh, help towards color, but as I said, my garden is south faced in, so uh, once the sun is out a lot, I don't need the lights on, which saves on the electric. There's that big tancho. What a fantastic koi. <coughs> um, yeah, so there you go. Now I'm going to go measure up and try to make a rabbit proof gate that looks neat with my skills, which is zero. Peace out. There you go, 50 grams a day. Feeder just went off. End of the day, gate almost finished. Looking good, just painted it. I'll show you the end product. You don't need to see the cotton wood bit. So anyhow, windows have been clean. You can see the koi there. All chewing up the Mr. Saki sinking food. That little doitsu chancho thing is for a friend. <laughs> he has a garden pond. 
sort of thing. So I got him that as a gift. It was actually tiny when I got him 10 centimeters. I think now it's about 35, but it's absolute junk. But it's actually a good fish to have if you want to scrape your koi, scrape that thing. It's doits, easy to get a sample from. <laughs> perfect fish to scrape and get samples anyhow uh, yeah so they're all gathered there so this is how the pond looks normally um, this is how it spends 99% of its time no air extra oxygen or anything uh, right now the pond is I think 16.8 Celsius so just below 17 um, and uh, that's the last bit of wheat jump so when that's done they're not going to be fed now till May I'm going to go out in a no food thing, so uh, let's see if we can get them coming by the window now. There you go. It's the big Momontaro all gone. Kashiki Takigawa. That's for sale if anybody's interested in a decent, very nice I should say. Goshiki, five colors. Only reason why I'm selling it because I bought another one from Taniguchi. That's uh, good enough for a Japan show. So that means that one is up for sale. Not a cheap fish, just a couple of grand. So that's a sort of money. Just email me at rastakoi at yahoo.com. That is an amazing Asagi right there. So I know someone who is couple of people who are interested in it but um, it's just a fantastic fish it's coming this way so that's uh, as good as they get she's nice and clean beautiful fish yeah. stunning <laughs> They're looking for food. They aren't getting many, I'm afraid. No point feeding you boys now, or girls, I should say. Okay. Another sunny day today in the city of Leicester. Um, and again, I'm filming with the air on. Normally don't have them running, but I must have not switched the timer off. So the timer's kicked in. An hour ago so i'll head over and switch that off yeah koi are doing good they're not being fed much um my gate that i installed is here stop them rabbits going down box in place it's a dumping ground for you should know what anyhow go back and show you the up pipes in a moment but yeah koi are all happy and healthy i've got now like sold on a few other fish that sagi is gone or going i should say so there's quite a few fish leaving here um so it's going to make the pond look sparse but put the lights on in here there's a torch that pH is set at 7, there, yeah, bang on 7, so this will show you, that's the up pipes as well, how dirty they are, I've got a torch on, and uh, that stuff in a bucket, the yellow is all the protein that comes up, up the up pipe like a volcano and drip down into there, that's probably 2 days, Three days somewhere up there, somewhere, as you can see the top of the pipe as well. Yeah, so I'll call you looking happily, happily, is that a word? Looking happy and healthy. That's the book that I use, I keep all my uh, reading ins and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so it's been not much to film on that side. I'll just show you where the pH and the temperature is at. So that's the pH and temperature. They're not being 
I'm going to feed them a lot, so. And, uh, yeah. Not much happening in the koi world, unfortunately. Coronavirus and all that, so. This is just a short video to keep you up to speed. Peace out. Hello, so. Another pun angle. No, today is 12, 12 Celsius, so it is milder. My kids keep saying warm. It's not warm. If you're from Trinidad, it's mild. Anyhow, so it's 12 Celsius out in the pond. Uh, the ambient temperature inside of here is 17 degrees. So that's how much the polycarb difference the polycarb made. Um, there's no condensation dripping, but yeah, they're all doing, I must say they're looking fantastic. Although they're not getting a lot of food. Uh, TDS is sat at, uh, I should have filmed it, but anyhow. Start at TDS is at 68 uh, and uh, pH is at 6.97. The KH is about 12 milligrams. So, there's a big girl. There's no nitrite, zero nitrate, zero ammonia. From Palin test and uh, those things. So. You could probably hear the kids messing about. Anyhow. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know I didn't bowl any fishes, but uh, it's winterish time, so what can you do? Um, and really, you don't need to bowl them to see the quality. It's there. I'm sure if you've got a koi eye, you can tell. Yeah, they're looking good. And the water is good. Fish is doing well. That's the Okawa. If you buy Rasta merch, that's the fish, the logo. The logo fish there. That's the Okawa that I bought. Trinity is the name, so she's got to measure up, but uh, last time measure she was 87 centimeters, so I reckon she's 88, 89, possibly 90 centimeters, we'll see. But uh, I'll wait till the boys are around, whether Ian comes down, Ian Jenkins, or the boys from Newcastle, that's not, we'll see how it works out. South Shields, I should say. So, there you go. Hopefully you enjoy. Uh, there's been a lot of people talking about stocking rates. You can, and there's six, seven fish coming out of here. So you got to take six fish out of the equation or seven. I can't remember. And uh, that will show you the true stocking here, yeah? which is in spring. There's those all single color fish are gone. The sagi should be gone. That momentaro in the back is gone. So there's quite a few fish that has gone from here. Um, yeah, stocking rate is important to keep the lower side, but too low and I think you you compromise the fish's ability to feed properly uh, they need to have competition for the food and it's something I think that is important if you just have one or two fish when I dropped in all these smaller single color food my fish ate a lot more because the single color food fish would just the single color fish sorry was just rushing the food and the bigger ones couldn't get it and they all up their game and then they begin to feed like beasts so I think, yeah, you, you need to have sensible stocking, but too, too low for stocking is as detrimental because the fish are not really getting a chance to, uh, they feed at their leisure rather than feed because somebody else is going to take the pellet. So you've got to get the balance right is what I'm trying to say. Certainly under stocking is not going to be any problems long term. Overstocking with flukes and all those things. That's why some guys, they can't get rid of flukes. They can't get rid of trichodina or whatever problems they have. They have problems month on month. Their fish are always flashing and rolling. You've probably seen, I've been recording this now, coming up to four minutes, not one flash. Because um, the more fish you've got in there, the more the harder the medicine has got to work to, to combat the parasite that's in there. The less stock you have, there's a less chance of things going wrong in that way. Um, so yes, you've got to get the balance right. And growing single color fish like these, Although yummies are different, uh, you know, that's going to be four years old in July. It's already 85 centimeters. Um, single color fish like this thing, they're easier to grow. So it's hard. It's, don't judge your pond by, okay, I got fish a 91 centimeter single color koi. Try go sankey. That's a different uh, thing. So that is 87, 88 last year, July. So uh, hopefully it's grown. I don't know. It, it, sometimes they don't grow when they get big. They just body out. That is that size. So um don't judge your pond or the growth rate on single color fish because you drop a pond full of chagoy in here 
I'm pretty certain I can get them all massive. Another thing to mention is I've got fish with sumi on there, see? Gorgeous sumi on that old way in a shower. And some guys think because I run RO, then and my pond has like or no cage in it, so it's little or no cage. And the pH is low, then the sumi would suffer. Actually, it's quite the opposite. Quality sumi comes out, no matter what. If the sumi has been suffered and you need hard water to bring the sumi up where it actually does, then it's a sign of actually poor sumi, not quality sumi in that way. So something to bear in mind. Um, that may not bless you to hear that. Um, but if you have poor quality sumi in softer water, it will fade out. If it's good quality sumi, soft water, hard water still comes through. And I saw that at Yumikoi Ponds in Bristol where Mike also ran it off. I'm seeing it here, soft water. Sumi is developing like crazy. Look at this thing. Sumi is every time, I, every day I look at it, there's new new scales there. New scales of sumi coming out. Same with the sankey there. So um, I don't think that's a problem. I think the fish has got to have quality sumi in the first place. So that's my thoughts in that way. This is sankey is gorgeous. I sold it. Somebody's desperate for it, so it's been sold. But uh, every day I look at it, it looks so fantastic. So you know, you know who you are who bought it. You got a fantastic koi in that way so hopefully you enjoy what you saw there they're not being fed hardly any i think i think i've brought it down now to 25 grams a day that's all they're being fed it's at 17 celsius so um they're all looking like they're losing a bit of pounds which is what we all need to do in lockdown so they tend to be doing okay there so yeah next time all these those would all be gone and all the other single color fish and usagi and whatever you and then uh, yeah and uh, anybody interested, we've got a lovely Takigawa Koshki for sale. Just message me. We could do a deal on her. I've got one at Taniguchi that's good enough for the Koi Show in Japan. So um, I don't need two, two uh, Goshki. So if you're after a Goshki, send me a message at rastakoi at yahoo.com. Obviously, you've got to live in the UK. I can't send it abroad and then we can talk all right so they're not a couple hundred pound fish so just be just bear in mind is that fish is almost two grand so that's the way it will be all right peace out hi chip cam here from down under in australia love your clothes fantastic videos you do on youtube go rest a koi yeah. oh hello chip-san konnichiwa boshi arigatou gozaimasu Thank you for watching the Rastakoi video. Please make sure you like and subscribe, share the video, and also put a comment as well. Yeah, yeah it does look cooler than the lake, I'm telling you. Yeah, it'll look cooler later once I let it cut. <laughs>